A seven and a quarter inch gauge Sweet William steam locomotive, part 63. Modifying the plumbing on this engine is going to take some time. I am converting from BSP to ME thread forms, starting with the pipe to the cylinder drain valves. BSP stands for British Standard Pipe and ME stands for Model Engineering. So what is the difference? I am currently working with 1 8 BSP threads. It's a bit confusing. What does the 1 8 mean? It's certainly not the outside diameter, which is 3 8 of an inch, which is also the external diameter of a 3 8 by 32 threads per inch ME type thread. The similarity ends there though because an ME thread will not fit into a BSP thread. BSP threads are often used in plumbing applications. The fittings are cheap because they're very mass produced, whereas ME threads are not quite so mass produced. Why don't I use BSP threads? Simply because I do not like the way they look. They are after all commercial or domestic plumbing fittings. Like Earl Grey tea, it is all a matter of taste. I prefer to use ME threads because they're more refined. The clues are in their respective names. BSP, British Standard Pipe, ME, Model Engineering Threads. What I'm doing in this clip is refitting the original pipe to the inlet of this tap, which controls the inlet and exhaust to the steam-operated drain taps. This thread is very long and it took quite a few turns of the nut to tighten it up. I couldn't simply refit this pipe in position because I've changed the turret quite radically. By putting the valve in the middle of the turret, it's far too tall to reuse the original pipe, and use the hole in the turret at this side to mount the pressure gauge. Why did I fit a tap in between the turret and the boiler? Well, the reason for that was I was asked to do so by the boiler tester, and I can't argue with that. This clip shows clearly the piece of pipe fitted with a 1 8 BSP union cone, which is quite different to the ones ME uses. I'm going to extend this pipe by fitting an ME double union, so I'm marking the position to cut the pipe, then I unbolted the pipe from the tap, cut it on the bandsaw, and then in the outer part of the workshop I silver soldered an ME union cone on the end of it. I'm not going to show the silver soldering operation. If you want to know how to do that, please watch my video called How to Silver Solder for Beginners. That shows you how to do it, but you will need to practice. This clip should give you the general idea of what I'm doing. Now I need to make a length of pipe to go from this piece of pipe to an elbow fitting on the turret. What I'm about to show is not a good idea, and I do not recommend that you do this, I'm only doing it for the video really, although I must admit it's much quicker than making a new elbow. As far as I'm aware, the threads per inch of 1 8 BSP is 28. On the other hand, this part, which is an ME thread of 3 8 by 32 threads per inch, will now screw into the elbow, but this is not the best way to do it. What I should have done is made an adapter double union, with 1 8 BSP at one end, 3 8 by 32 at the other end. And here, once again, just to show you how to do it, I'm doing something wrong. I'm holding this double union by the thread, and I'm turning the other end of it. This is asking for trouble. A much better way of doing this job would be to screw the union into a union nut and hold the union nut in the chuck. After using a file to clean up the outer edge, the part is ready. I'm going to assemble the double union and the elbow using plenty of this. Yes, you've guessed it, it's Loctite 542 thread sealant. Once I fitted the double union tightly into the elbow, it was time to fit the elbow into the turret. Once again, using some more Loctite 542. I tightened the elbow very securely into the turret using my Barco spanner, and here it is from the other side. I made up the short length of pipe and secured it at both ends, first to the turret and then at this end. You will notice once again I'm using two Barco spanners to tighten the union nut. One on the double union and the other one on the nut itself. And that is it for this episode. The first plumbing job is completed. This is just the beginning. When I stand back and look at the job, I realise just how much more plumbing there is to do on this engine. In the next episode of the series, I will be piping the injector. But that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website, 
and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.